Howdy folks, welcome back to Railroader. We've got a busy day here of switching. I've got Al on the loco standing by. And if you watched the live stream, uh, I had planned on the next video, this video being heading to Alarca. But what I forgot is I had already selected phase three, the milestone to do the next day. I wasn't actually doing phase three. I thought I was done with phase three. Uh, but no, we're doing phase three today. So uh, yeah. Anyway, we got a lot of switching to do and we got a new loco. It is heading over to Bryson. Number four is another G16 mogul. And that's gonna be the Bryson area local switcher to take care of stuff. And there's some cars over there. So we're here with number three, good old number three at East Whittier. And we've got some switching to do in this area. And then we're gonna pop over to Bryson to do some switching with number four. Uh, meanwhile, number 10 has taken stuff up to the coal mine. And then uh, big old dummy Kerbo ran number one, the passenger train out of water. So 10 is bringing the passenger train back over to Bryson. Whoops. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on. Let's get Al hooked up here to the cars. And then uh, we've got to get these over to the interchange. And then we've got one sitting over there that needs to head over to, uh, to Whittier. And we'll go from there. Hey, there we go. We've got a few passengers at Hemingway. Uh, so let's get him on road mode. Come on over, Al. Al. <laughs> Al's a little confused. I think I confused him. There he goes. He doesn't want to do road mode because he's too close. We'll switch her over to yard. So if you haven't been following the series, I call uh, my main AI Al. His name is Albert Inman. Initials AI. Yeah. Hashtag dad joke. So we're going to be doing uh, switchman brakeman duties here. And Al's going to be driving today. All right. Looking good, Al. And that'll do. He really likes to slam home those couplers. Okay, bring her on back. Actually, I'm gonna hop on the last car. Just double checking the waybills here. Yeah, these are all headed to the interchange. Nice, beautiful, bright day here. And this is, if we go to look at finance, no, railroad, settings, there he is, day 13, lucky day 13, railroad is humming along, it's getting, uh, starting to get busy, I had 2,200 tons to take over to, uh oh, to take over to Bryson. So that was fun. Uh, the old uh, Mikado got that done, no problem. I did have to split the train up to get uh, west of Bryson. So I took the uh, coal empties and part of the Alarca Junction train over there, and then I've got the rest of the train to the Alarca Junction that needs to go over. And we'll do that once we get the passenger train back over to Bryson. So it kind of worked out. I needed to bring the Mikado back anyway. So my plan was to wait for the coal cars to fill up and then come back in the evening and take the rest of Larka over. But with me being a big old dummy and running the passenger train out of water, we'll just bring the number 10 over. Rescue the passenger train and then we can grab the rest. So we'll see how that gets along. We may end up doing that as part of this video too. In fact, they're probably done here with the passengers. So while Al is bringing us out, I should be loaded up. Get them headed on over to Bryson. And I believe the switches are all lined up for that. Let's just double check. Yeah, we should be lined up to get right on into Bryson. To the passenger depot. And then I'll cut off passenger cars and I can bring the loco up here to this water column. 
get it filled back up. And here you can see uh, number four has in fact reached Bryson. So while we're here, go ahead and switch him on to, and get him hooked onto those cars. So let me just double check. So we actually need to be on the other side of, I think, all of these. So we're doing a lot of things at once here. I need to get back over and keep an eye on Al. Uh, let's just get him staged up. So he'll be ready to go. Can I put a flare? I can't put a flare there, but I can, I can throw the switch against him. Then he should stop. He gets down to there. Anyway, back over here. Oh, my frame rate went a little crazy there. Probably all the hopping around. Uh, let's see. I didn't quite put the flare in the right place, did I? So we got the logs down here. I had to wait almost mid-morning to get the logs filled up. The, the buffer was a little low up there at Connolly. So we'll see if we can keep up with that at tier uh, three. Knock you down to five there, Al. Just need you to pull up a little bit. Clear the switch. That'll do. Now we can head back down to the yard. Never see number four a stop for the switch aligned against him. Now these cars, we're going to pull over into this uh, secondary track. Drop them off. And I believe they will fit. Let's throw, can I throw a flare? So let's see how close he'll get with the switch thrown against him. Actually, I need to be on that side of that one to take it to uh, Bryce. Try to try to think several steps ahead. So yeah, that's fine. We'll bring we'll bring Al all the way down here. And then we can come out and head back around. That will work. Quite a bit of lumber there, 565 tons, just with the uh, seven cars. All right, go ahead and slow her down now. Don't need to get going too awful fast here. So what I've started doing is when I'm pulling cars in here, I've started taking them down to the end of the track because with so many cars, we might need to bring more stuff in here. It's getting busy. The little railroad is getting pretty busy. Looking good. Al sees the fusey. And we can just go ahead and cut these off here, Al. That'll work. Have you head on down there. Those cars stop. That will work. Even got paid for that. Look at there. All right, let's have you go back forward. And I'll clean up these switches behind us. Hold the switch list here. See, we got the ones for uh, Stenzel. 
And there's some stuff over at Whittier that needs switched. We got one at Bryson to grab with the other one. Not 100% sure how the... I think the switch list is tied to the player rather than the crew. We might play around with that a little bit. Because I've got the crew assigned per loco and then I'm on the uh, East Whittier crew. So I'll go ahead and make a Bryson switching crew and I'll show how that works. Just in case you haven't done anything with the crew stuff yet. Kind of thought about uh, waiting and getting a diesel for Bryson, but I don't think we're quite ready for diesel yet. It's a pretty big investment. So we're sticking with steam for now. I do want to get some diesel though, eventually. All right, we need to throw you because we're going to grab this car. All right, that's good, Al. Bring her on back, grab this box car. And we'll be on our way. Let me just take a quick look at switches up here. Looking good. Yeah, that'll get us into Bryson. And yeah, we need to stop up here. Not sure if that would stop me quick enough. So we just need to swap cars, basically, at uh, Stenzel. All right, I'll bring her on back about five cars to a couple. Find the handbrake on this bad boy. Oh, it was already released. All right, thank you, Al. So I believe we're ready to head over to Whittier. Okay, so it's, it says Whittier even though we're in East Whittier. All right, good to know. All right, let's, whoa, set over in this seat. All right, Al, take us on over. While he's doing that, let's go check in on uh, the rest of the railroad. So we should have... Yeah, these guys are headed right into Bryson. He sees the fusey. Oh, another one down somewhere about there ish. I'm gonna grab some water. Fusey in the gauge, indeed. And so we need to apply the handbrake. Those open. So yeah, eight tons of coal and no water. Classic. <laughs> that was just totally my bad. What I noticed is the AI was just drifting down grade. When they run out of water, apparently they don't know to stop. So that's, I guess, a bug that needs reported. I need to do a little more testing and see if that's actually the case, but that's what this one was doing. He was just adrift at the mercy of the grades. All right, let's go ahead and take over manual control, but I need to grab the controls. Hatch open. a little early. That'll do. 
All right, we'll get you all filled up. Uh, meanwhile, back at the ranch, <laughs> let's go get uh, number four. We're just we're hopping all over the place today. There's a lot going on. The life of the uh, solo railroader. And here's the rest of that stuff that needs to go over to a Larka Junction site. So that's what number 10 is going to take here in just a bit. Uh, but let's take over number four here real quick. Make sure we got the right controls up. Set you back to manual. Need to back you up just a hair. And we need to grab those cars. Let's do that. Three stop for Fusey. So he's made it to Whittier. It's going to get the uh, number four coupled on and then it'll be ready to do some work. get too crazy and uh, yeah he's got a full load of water before he came over here so it's down now but, and then a little bit of coal All right, got you coupled on, and let's kill the handbrakes. And set the independent. And you are ready to rock and roll when we're ready for you. Now let's zoom up here real quick. You are still taking on water. It's a thirsty girl. Very thirsty. Um, now if I take... Yeah, I can't get number 10. We have to back up the passenger train. So we can leave number 10 here, and then I'll wait until the passenger train's out of the way. This one. You've got independent on. That will work. So we'll just open that coupler. And take number one now that it's full of water. And we can get it back in passenger service. Actually, I might as well fill up number 10 while we're at it. All right, number one, let's get you back under AI control. And we can do yard. Go ahead and couple up. Got uh, we got a decent amount of passengers, so I think we'll just send this on. Get it over to uh, Ella. Whoa! That was a terrible couple. Did you just you just derailed the car, AI? So much for my safety rating. Wow. What's the deal with that? Why were you going so fast? You saw 410. That's this car. Okay. Well, I got to keep a closer eye on the AI, apparently. Stop. <laughs> okay, that's not good. I don't like that. At least the handbrake. Weird.
Number one, why are you doing your own thing? You're number one. I have number one's controls, yet I can't control it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I have no control of the loco. Interesting. I've not seen this bug before. The look at the... Nothing else is derailed, right? Yeah, sorry. Apparently we're uh, troubleshooting live here on the video. What the heck is going on? Why can't I control the loco? Something is very confused. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to save and I'll be right back. Okay, I figured it out, and it's kind of my fault. No big surprise there, right? So here's what happened. Uh, it's sort of, it's my fault, but there's also kind of a bug, I think, in my opinion. So when I was bringing number one back over uh, with number 10, I had the brakes cut out. I forgot to uncheck that. And when the AI took over, it also did not uncheck that. So it had no brakes. <laughs> So that's why it slammed into the passenger train. So yeah, a little bit of a little bit of oversight uh, on my part, and then the AI didn't cut in the brakes when it took over. So something to be aware of. Yep, I, I figured it out. That's why I couldn't control the brakes because they were cut out. So there you go. But uh, we're back in business now. So let's get on out of here. Double checked. I get rid of the yeah. I got rid of the flare. Let's make sure we're headed out of town. We are good. And pop over to Ella real quick, and then we'll get back to switching. Woo! Frames are getting a, just a little wonky. Throw a flare down there, and we are good. I do need to get the, um, does it make more sense to have the East Whittier come over here? Yeah, it's further. So the Whittier switcher needs to do Ella as well. So the Whittier switcher will be East Whittier, Whittier, and Ella. And the Bryson switcher will be the, the Bryson area here. I think that makes sense. All right, he's flying off down the line. He's good to go. Let's get uh, let's get number ten on the way, and then we can get back to switching. So let's throw a flare there, and I want to take over control of number ten. Uh, sh that should be enough coal. But let's go ahead and get water filled up. Gonna call that close enough, but it's gonna bug me. There we go. Much better. <laughs> All right, so switching with number four. Let's get number four selected. So we've got all these guys. We have Bryson Freight House, which is uh, right up there. So we need to pull back and stick those two in that track. And then we have these guys, the, actually this one. This is the only one that's a trailing point. So I'll probably need to drop it up there somewhere and run around when we come back. But first order of business, we need to get these shoved in. So let's get ourselves some room here. And 
and we're going to have Al do this one, and we'll just reverse back at 15. And we're going to come up through here into that lead. He's got, what, five cars? I need to get back past that switch, so let's throw a flare down about there. So, solo running the railroad, there's always uh, lots of things going on. And it's easy to miss, and that's that's why I ran out of water in my passenger loco. Just doing a lot of things at once, and I missed it. So let's get number 10 back, and then we need to cross over to that other track, and we can get him headed uh, up towards Alarca Junction. So to that end, pop down here real quick. He needs to come to Alarca Junction. And we need to run around the cars and poke him in there. So he needs to come down here and stop. So let's just set that switch. And then he'll stop because that switch is against him. How you doing, Al? You got past the switch. Beautiful. And then this is... It's green, even though it's like... You would think it would be red, but... The normal operation for the switch, green, is to go this way. There he goes. So he will push on down to the... Oh, shoot. I've got the wrong... <laughs> Classic. What was I just saying about doing too many things? I was thinking I was controlling number four, and I wasn't. There we go. That's why the whistle sounded out of place. We need number four to get going forward. Yeah, there we go. Always make sure that your uh, window matches what you expect. I make that mistake a lot. All right, orders, and you're going to go back forward. And we're just going to cross you over here, number 10. Here you go. Now you can head back down towards the other track. Meanwhile, back to the ranch. We'll see how Al's doing in number four. We got locomotives all over the place. In fact, that might be a good screenshot. How to screw up a railroad without even trying. <laughs> Yeah, that's looking good, Al. Slow her down. Stop! Oh boy. We're cutting a little close there. Here we go, we got those delivered. Uh, this one, we have to run around. So we'll bring him on back there-ish. Grab this guy. Switch him to yard mode real quick. Get him coupled up to that southern. And then he's going to be ready to head on out of here. That switch is lined. Gonna throw that one and then he'll be ready to head on out to Alarca. All right, number four. Let's get you headed back forward, Al. Come through there, come through there. 
And then we could stick that car right here. Let's do that. Then we can come back and can run around it. Got to find it where it's not too close to the switch, but we're further along. All right, so Al is headed for there. Let's get number 10 sorted out. Make sure we got the right number that we're looking at here. Him laced up, and he has a break on. Let's just double check real quick. Train looks good. All right, number 10, you can head on out of town. And you've got 940 tons, so you should be good. We can do about 1,000 tons out to Alarca uh, with the Mikado. That seems pretty safe. I don't know what the max is, but 1,000 tons has been no problem. So I, that's why I had to split that train in half because it definitely wasn't taking 2,000 tons out there. That wasn't going to happen. All right, let's get back in control here of number four. Get the right orders window up. That's looking good, Al. Just right in there and then we can come back around and grab it from the other side and push it up into here is where it goes. Right, Bryson Lumber and Coal? Yep. And we need to grab that one. We're switching those. There we go. And then these two head down to Appalachian Hardwoods. So we'll wait till number 10 gets out of the way. And we'll be following it down the line to the uh, Appalachian Hardwoods. Another good screenshot. All right, that's good, Al. Yeah, by the time Al gets down here, number 10 will be on through, so. Just follow it on out. Should be good. Double check. Uh, yeah, we got plenty of coal and water. We are good to go. Get Al cranked up to 25. Once 10 is passed, we're going to throw the switch here to get into uh, Appalachian Hardwoods. Uh, those guys down there are still processing. The uh, tankers, seems like it takes them quite a while. All right, Al's way down there. Let him work his way down here, and we'll be uh, switching the hardwoods. Just get a shot real quick here on number 10, heading up to Bryson Grade. No problem for number 10. 1,000 tons. Slows down a bit on this grade. It gets down to about 16 on the, the twisty curves up ahead. But it makes it. Okay, here we are at Appalachian Hardwoods, and we got quite a bit of shuffling to do. So we're going to cut off these uh, deliveries. And we've got to swap out this car and the coal car, but this one needs to go back in place. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of switching puzzle here. So what I'm going to do is go grab all of those cars. 
and then we'll get these put where they need to go. And it's, it's gotta be some shuffling around. All right, that's looking good, Al. Let me just double check. This does go, well, that doesn't go where I was thinking. Ew, okay, well, that changes things a bit. Oh, that's the output. I had him. I was thinking backwards. Okay, no problem. So we'll just grab this empty, and then we can shove that loaded in there. It just changes the order of operations a bit. That's all. Pop down here. Keep an eye on the Al. He's a little bit of a speed demon sometimes. All right. Easy does it, Al. Easy does it. There you go. A little, little aggressive. Uh, this guy's empty, so we don't really need to worry too much about air, do we? Yeah, there's nothing in the tank. All right, take her back on. Pass the second switch there, Al, and we'll grab the load. Whoa, slow down there, Al. Slow down, buddy. <laughs> There you go. Al's in a hurry. I think he's worried the coffee's gonna get cold or something. All right, so there's that one spotted. Now, unfortunately, we gotta do the, uh, the shuffle roo here. This one is still being loaded, but we need to get it out of the way so we can swap. The uh, coal car. All right, that's good out. More than good, actually. Better keep him to ten. He gets he gets a little uh, a little throttle happy sometimes. Yeah, we'll, we'll give him 15 until he gets down here a little closer. So basically, we're going to have to pull this empty out. All right, 10 made it over to Alarco, so that's cool. We may have enough room to just stick those two cars right there. Well, we got this one, though. Yeah, we probably better pull it all the way out. We can stick the uh, empty coal there. Come on down, Al. You're good. Yeah, he picked up that car. Yeah, we'll have to pull the empty out to here. Then I can stick this car back there, shove the coal in, grab that car, put it up there. That's probably the move. All right, release that handbrake. Two or three nine oh five. There we go. You are lined up, sir. Bring her on down. While you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and throw. So we got a few cars. Put a flare there just so he doesn't get too far away if I get distracted. Now let's do the. Uh, let's zoom all the way in, then we can kind of. Get right where we need to go. All right, take her on out, Al. Let's 
So he needs to pull that all the way out, and then we stick the empty in there. Uh, while he's doing that, let's jump all the way out here to Alarica. So we need these cars over there. We have to be on the other side for that to happen. So let's get our orders window up here. Let's throw a handbrake on, pull that off. Throw the switch. Get number 10 work, working on running around the train here. And yeah, I can't turn because I got cars in the way. Get him reversing on around to the other side of this train. Switches lined up for that. Al's made it back to the fusey. We'll throw a fusey down there. So he should be coming back around. Back over to Al. Alright, Al, we're going to stick one empty on here. I don't think there's enough grade here. Yeah, there's not really enough grade. To have that roll on its own, I don't think. We might be able to push it a little bit. Uh, give her a little give her a little bump, Al. Eh, it's starting to roll a little bit. Yeah, he's not going to want to go because terrain. I think there's enough of a slope there that it'll roll in theory. It flattens out here, but there's a little bit of slope there, so we're patient I think that'll work so this guy needs to go back where he was but we have to get the coal car there first so we'll stick the furniture car there go ahead and roll car <laughs> you got this Wait for it. <laughs> yeah, it's it's getting there. All right, Al, come on back forward, buddy. All right, number ten's made it on around. He should stop before he hits there, and this is gonna be a little close. It's fine. Plenty. We've got a good six, eight inches of clearance there. It's fine. Still hanging on the coal car. <laughs> Bring her on back, buddy. You got this. Need to clear this switch and we're good. Al's not going to like it because there's a car down there. Will he push far enough? That's the question. Nope. Alright, that's okay. I got you, Al. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, take her on back. Clear the switch. This is even down through here, but we could probably kick that coal car. Uh, 
have it be rolling down while we're grabbing the boxcar. Alright, that's good, Al. That'll give us enough uh, room to give her a kick. And I'll hop on the uh, step here. Okay, that's set. There we go. We'll send that on down. And we'll grab our boxcar. Yeah, you got that, Al? I need to uh, pay attention to the brakes here. Whee! <laughs> now, the trick is to stop before you slam into the bumper. That's the trick. I think we're we're going to good speed. We got enough speed to get down here, but not not crazy amounts of speed. Yeah, there we go. Beautifully done. Good work, Al. Okay, we just need to stick that uh furniture car back in the spot. So uh, handbrake off of that. Get Al backing up. Oh, he doesn't want to back up because the uh, brakes aren't hooked up. Here you go, Al. You're good now. Sometimes Al's a stickler for the rules. Sometimes he slams into stuff too hard. You never know. All right, back past the switch, Al, and then we'll just spot this back in place and we'll be good. Got a few pickups left here. Some of that is for number three. And yeah, number three is sitting over there. You get the passenger train. There's just so much going on. All right, that's good, Al. Busy day on the railroad. Just need to spot that back at the dock. And get on out of here, back over to Bryson. a little uh little leery here we'll switch to the yard mode then i'll just stop you when you need to get stopped in road mode he didn't want to get too close to that coal hopper understandable That's good, Al. Wouldn't stop right there. Beautifully done. All right, go ahead and head on out, sir. Just need to grab that empty on the way out. 
walk this flare down the track a bit. A little close, but you know, we made it work. You got this, Al. I believe in you. It's going to be another long video. It's kind of cut up, so I'm not sure where we're at, but it's going to be a long one. Looking good, Al. Looking good. All right, let's get you laced up. Get you heading back to Bryson. So you can just head right on back. Make sure the right track is selected. Now I need you to come all the way back over here. And we'll stick you in this track. Right about there, I would say. Clean up some of these flares. And we've got all kinds of other stuff on the railroad that needs to happen. I've been busy with four. Let's get Alarca Junction cars in place. That's going to be important. So let's get you switched. Or wait, no. I hit it right the first time. Those cars pushed into there, which means that needs thrown. And then that will actually be stage three complete. <laughs> I forgot I'd already selected that milestone. I should have looked closer at the paperwork. Thought I was done, but I still had 21 more cars to bring over here. Right, he sees that one, so I'm going to switch him to yard mode and hit 20. And then he'll just come down a couple to that. Get rid of this flare. We'll put a safety flare down there just in case I get distracted. It won't run all the way back to Bryson. All right, looking good. Let's go ahead and select you so I can see the train bud. It's like the last car has got a handbrake on. Okay, pull her on back. While you're doing that, let's check in on the passenger train. Like you've picked up folks, you're ready to head on. So let's make sure you're set up to get into Whittier Station. Like so. And you have a flare, so that's good. Uh, poor number three has been sitting patiently over here, <laughs> waiting to get to this car. We'll 
have have him head back. How are you looking? You're getting there. Uh, four has a switch. Lighting against him? What did I mess up? Oh, you came all the way through there because I messed up the switch. Somewhere I, I didn't click right. Oops. Well, I'm glad that switch was thrown because <laughs> who knows where it would end it up. We got all kinds of stuff going on. Okay, you're lined up to go into there, so I think you're good. Ten is stopped. Get him lined into here. So he can push on in there. He'll stop for those. And I've messed up three somehow. What's three doing? Oh, three is the switcher. Right, right. That's good. We're all good. Three's looking at another train. He is indeed. So three is switch you to yard mode. I need to swap these cars. So we can pull that out and throw it down here. All right, number three. Put on down there. We got a lot of stuff going on here. Let's check in with 10 again. Who is headed down this way. So the Darka Junction site starts there. Excellent. So 10, let's go ahead and swap you over to yard mode. Get you coupled on the rest of that train. Now this is, okay, so that's ballast. That's good. So that means these will be empty. Coming back, because that's a lot of weight. 82 tons of pop. I'm going to tell you to stop, because you're going pretty fast. All right. Half a car. Okay, pull forward one car length. We'll get you hooked in. All right, all laced up. Get a few handbrakes on. And then you're ready to head back up to the coal mine, but I can I can do that later. Let me just throw a fusey down there. Actually, let's just stop you. We're fine. Stop you, put you on manual. Check it back in over here before we have disaster. Okay, the passenger train made it, so that's good. 
they're offloading. That's good. So we can go ahead and set your orders off. Now you were swapping cars, so let's get back in control. Nope, not the firebox door. Select you. <laughs> So we also need to grab this car over here, this train. We got a lot going on, but I think this video has gone on way too long. So I may have to uh, just end it before we get all the work done. That should do. Apply yield handbrake. I'll tell you what, let's just, let's just do uh, manual as we close out the video here. We got plenty of water. Okay, we'll head back over to Stenzel. Get that dropped off, and then I still, like I said, I've still got some work to do, but this video is way too long. I may have to cut some of it out in the edit. There's always plenty of work to do here on the railroad. But I'm still having fun. Gets a little hectic at times, but that's why I run the one-to-one -one speed. So I've got plenty of time. I can always come back later and work on it some more. This guy is spotted. There's uh, quite a grade here. Couldn't tell because that mouse was too far away. What is the grade here? Yeah, 2% up into that industry, so. A little bit of a grade. All right, well, that'll be it for this uh, video. I'm gonna go ahead and wind her down. The railroad continues. I'm hoping next video we'll be heading to Alarca, unless I've forgotten something else. But uh, yeah, have a happy new year. This should be coming out uh, as 2024 unfolds. So yeah, thanks as always for watching, folks. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.